And just about every house has them, but when do those icicles become bad for your roof? Good question. And is it an icicle or something worse? It's an epidemic issue. When could an icicle spell trouble for your roof? Good question. Next. You think gas is going to be expensive? People are paying thousands of dollars to get ice dams cleared off their homes in the Twin Cities. Often the first sign of trouble is that clump of icicles. But going up and down our blocks, almost every house has some icicles. And that got Florence and Coon Rapids and Molly in Minneapolis wondering, when does an icicle mean there's an ice dam? Good question. Jason DeRussia is live in St. Paul tonight. Looks like there's a lot of uh, icicles that look pretty big behind you there, Jason. That is right, Liz. Taking a look outside of Melissa Jamrock's house in St. Paul, and I am not an expert here, but that is an ice dam. When it comes to this problem with icicles, size really does matter. Perfect ice dam. Joe Palumbo knows ice dams. That one's even worse there. That's a full on ice dam. There is a, a solid 75% chance that that is going to be a problem. Joe owns the ice dam removal guys. They're working nonstop. This day, steaming the ice off the roof of a St. Paul house. It's an epidemic this year. But Molly asked me on Twitter, if I have giant icicles hanging from my roof, does that mean I have ice dams? Looking at your house over there, that's quite an icicle. Well, I've seen bigger. They look so pretty. Don't they, though? <laughs> but they're so dangerous and they're so heavy. Should people be worried if they have icicles on their house? Small icicles, no. Small icicles attached to your gutters or roof when the sun causes melting. But if you have an icicle the diameter of a pop can, three or four inches, they're just too heavy to attach to the house. They're hooked into a pool of ice. They are a byproduct of the ice dam that is just melting, rolling over, and freezing. And those icicles could literally go all the way down to the ground. Carlos Rivera sent me proof of that from his Minneapolis house. When your attic isn't insulated right, the heat inside warms the snow outside. The melting pools into a barrier of ice. If you've got water running down the side of your house, Big problems. You may have an ice dam. You have an ice dam. You have an ice dam. Deal with it. Some try to deal with it by knocking down the icicles. It hit me in the head and knocked me off the ladder. Wow. So I was very lucky. <laughs> yeah. Does that help anything to knock down the icicles? No. no. Nothing. No. It makes it look better. <laughs> It does make them look better. I got to tell you right now, I'm just hoping these icicles don't come falling down on top of my head. Joe tells me that only about one in every four houses with icicles will actually have an ice dam kind of problem. The diameter is the first and the biggest indication you can see with these icicles. But then let me show you the second one here on the wall of this house. You see the water running down the side and some of the frozen water on the side of the house. That is another indication of an ice dam problem. Sadly, there's not a lot you can do about it yourself. The only thing you really could do is hire somebody to come and steam away the problem. Okay, so people want to know with all the rain coming, good or bad news for this whole ice dam situation? Usually it'd be good, Liz, because the rain in December would wash the snow off of our roofs, but there's so much snow up there already. The concern is that this rain is going to freeze that pile of snow forming essentially a giant ice dam hmm. all over the roof. So there is great concern that the situation's only going to get worse. Oh, goodness. All right, Jason. Good tips. Thank you.